I'm going to set up my rebate plane. So this is the rebate plane, okay? I'm going to start doing this rebate, but I'm using, I'm going to rebate all the way along here before I start bringing it all together. And that's the next thing I'm gonna do. So now setting up the rebate plane. So the rebate is a 10 by 10. So 10 by 10. So similar to job number six in, on my last video, right? Is you're, you're going to set, or I'm going to set, from the tip of the blade to there needs to be 10 mil. So I'm going to just check that as 10 mil, or yes, oh, let me see. Yeah. It only has to be from the blade 10 mil. It doesn't matter about this bit, because it's the, the actual guidance is from the fence to the edge of the blade. Yeah, so you don't measure, all, that doesn't need to be 10, as long as it's 10 from the edge of the blade, the cutting edge, which is, or the edge of this, uh, well, the cutting edge is this, but the edge of that blade to there wants to be 10 mil. That's all you need to do with um, a rebate plane. I'm just doing a practice run on this piece of timber prior to me doing it on here. This time that I'm happy with everything. <laughs> Spot on. I'm happy with that. So I'm going to start on my actual material in the vice it goes and away we go. So starting from the front and working my way back, keeping the press outside every so often it will choke. Then just release the shavings just away nice and steady and you'll get there.
So now I've completed the rebating and checking. So it's 10 mil there, spot on, 10 mil, 10 mil, all the way through, 10 mil, 10 mil, 10 mil, everywhere is 10 mil. So that rebate there is 10 this way and 10 deep. What I've got to do now is then start fitting it. So now I'm going to chisel out these components here just to sew that because this is going to be in the way because we're going to start fitting this job up actually. Okay, so just going to how I do that, just simply put it in the vise. If I turn it around so you can see. So what I'm going to do now is just chisel this down. Nice sharp chisel. And the same there. So, so now, what I shall do now is just cut this here. Now, just to point out, the, on the actual sheet, it is, the actual finished size is 185. This is longer than 185, but I'm still going to cut this off here, as well as there. And then this end is going to fit into there, and that end is going to fit into here, like that. That's what I'm going to do. So I'm going to cut off this part and I'm going to cut off that part there. So this is the 295. So I'm going to get that cut and then just leave this there long and then I'm going to reduce this to size as and when I'm happy with the jointing when they fix them into here. Okay, so I'm going to, to do that, I'm going to take out my bench hook. So, I'm deciding what saw to use um, for those ends. So, I think I, I use my conventional saw, which is this one. One, two, three. So now I've cut my actual length is 295. What's going to happen? This one's going to fit into there. That one's going to fit into there like so. So I'm just going to move this bench hook away. Put this, pack this away over here. And then I'm going to use my other saw that I've introduced, which is the Japanese saw to cut my shoulders. So that shoulder, that one, and the same on that one, as well as that one. Okay, so. First is first, that one's there, that one there. Literally just put it in the vise. And remember this works on the pull stroke, so. Right. 
So I'm just going to bring it down here because it's not quite where I want it. So it's going to. Oh. So as you can see, it's a very nice clean cut with a Japanese saw. Oh right, well I've not cut the back yet, but you can see with that cut there that it's a very clean cut with using a Japanese or a Japanese uh, cross cut. So see with the shoulders, and obviously I had this one going down here. Right, so I'm gonna do the same on the back. So I'll just cut that shoulder off there. So, as I say, this is going to fit like this. Like that. And I'm just going to get this one done now. So, you can see how this is going to come together. So, I'm just going to find myself on this one. The teeth are slightly different on, on here because why they show clean is that I think they put an edge on the bottom half of the teeth. Whereas this one, this one, the, the cutting edge is at the, at, the, at, the, at the back and at the front. Um, so that's why these ones have that little bit of an edge over those ones because just because of the finish of the cut really. So now I've cut the shoulders of uh, my tenons and I'm now I'm going to actually fit them into the positions that they need to be in. And that's the next stage. So to do that, I need to put this into the vise. And then I'm going to literally just offer that through tenon. Well, that tenon, shall I say, not through tenon, that tenon into the space, so a bit of wiggle, a bit of persuasion or a bit of guidance. Uh -huh. uh, this is a little tap here. Good is that? 
So, see that there? Now, when I'm doing so, obviously you're gonna check it square. Look at that, lovely. Nice and flat. I'm pleased with that. Right, now, I've got a little bit of an issue here. Look, you see here, got a little bit of a gap, bit of a gap here. So, that means that I've, uh, I've cut the shoulders, that little bit to, uh, what's the word, that little bit too long on this one. Now, there's a little trick. I can ease my rebate a little bit. Let me just check my rebate, because I know I measured it and I said, it is, right, so it's just on the cusp of being a bit shallow on the joint there, or on the rebate. It's just that little bit, especially here, it's a bit shallow there. Meaning, when I say shallow, meaning it's just not quite 10, it's about 9.5. It's 10 there. So I'm going to just do a little bit of uh, magic on this area. So, let me just wiggle that out. So before I commit myself, I'm just going to, and also I'm just going to have another check. Just, if I place that on there, I'm just going to, right. So it looks like I'm just that little bit, a little bit of that line left on. So I'm going to do what? I'm going to, I'm going to just lightly, see look, I've got a pencil line here. I'm just going to, I'm doing going to do what we call um, a bit of, Tweaking. So tweaking is this. So what I'm doing there now, I'm just going to just take that off of there, like that. Just going to make this right. Good. There we are, spot on. So that's that's that one. 